These are fucking nasty. This your breakfast? Yeah, I actually didn't eat today. Uh. I think my parents are finally leading on to the fact that I'm gay, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you wrote you wrote some stuff down this yes. time. Yes. Okay. Can you do a land acknowledgement? Can I do a what? A land acknowledgement. What is a land acknowledgement? Derek, we are currently on the unceded Coast Salish territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh people. And do you know why that's important to say? Yes. Because unceded means stolen. Stolen, yeah. And this land was stolen from indigenous and this people. people. And you know this, correct? I mean, I was going to do it, but okay, the, the so indigenous people I actually like you to do it at the end. Next question. Okay. Are you, are you, are you interviewing me? Clearly, because you're an idiot. Do you know what the acronym for the 2S LGBTQAI plus stands for? Go. Okay. Well, 2S obviously is um, the sanitation and sanctity. You're a stupid motherfucker. Continue. What's the eye? Are any of these guys in there? I see a bottom. Which one? You know the one. He's, he's gonna be... He's, he's gonna be needing stitches after, you know? Needle in the thread, gotta get you out of my... Shh. That's two spirit, you motherfucker. Two spirits? Yes, you didn't know this? Who, who know? You, you guys add a new letter. Every fucking month. You guys or you folks? Folks? Are you all old white men from Mississippi? Hey, I can't say you guys. I understand that. But if I say you people, that just sounds really wrong. Yeah, don't say people. Hey, what do you want to be called? Um, fame grandchildren. <laughs> like all the LGBTQ. Like if I wanted to address everybody, what do I say? Hello, fame grandchildren. No, shut the fuck. It's true. It's so exhausting talking to you sometimes. But don't I look pretty? Wow, today's outfit is giving baby doll meets gym daddy. Or if you had to, would you be a top or bottom? And why? I just don't think I could have like the bottom position. But you have it's heavy so, It's so full. You're basically there. The bottom experience, like the bottom positioning is like way too vulnerable for me. No, I think you're, I'm, I'm more dominant. You're more submissive. Therefore, you're naturally a bottom. Like you play into that rule a bit too well. Like for a man that's 5'8". 5'8"? Yes. I'm 5'11 and a half. Oh, okay. Well, you'd be acting like you're a tall man and you're not. That is actually something I wanted to talk about. The, the queer baiting. Okay. How do I, how do I win? Um, stop wearing pearl necklaces, get rid of your DIY, shitty tattoos, stop painting your nails, get rid of the mullet, be a man. What happened to like inclusivity? A lot's actually happened to inclusivity. Not for men like you though. For, for I, I, was gonna, I was gonna call you a man, but. You're gonna call me an F-slur? <laughs> Shh, I wish your voice was still lost. It is. What was that from sucking too much dick? No, it was from COVID actually. <laughs> I've had COVID five times or six times now, but how about you? Do you think COVID's like maybe a little bit homophobic? I think it's a part of the gay agenda. They wiped us out before, they can wipe us out again. So we both have our flags. I want to compare straight guy to... Faggot? Sorry. <laughs> gay man. I'm going to give you characteristics of a potential partner. You're a gay man. I am a straight man. Let's see if it's a red flag or green flag for each of us. First one. High body count. I'm sorry to say, y'all. I'm sorry to say. You think it's a red flag? Yes. Why? Because mine's high and I'm looking at myself. How many? What's your body count? I don't remember these days. It's bad. You know what? I think not remembering is actually, that's okay. But do you keep a notes app or no? No, like, I don't know mine. I just know it's like below 20. Oh, yeah. Mine's like really below three. Thousand? And not the security walking by saying nothing. Not even a wow, you look really good. When was the last time you had sex? Oh, less than a month ago. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. He's cool. He gets bitches. No. Yes. He he pulls. Mm. No, I don't I don't pull anymore. I can tell I was lying. I legit just cannot sleep with someone that I don't like my dick is broken. Get on Viagra. It, I, I tried it. Oh. Or I tried just for men. You're a homosexual, that's what's going wrong. <laughs> I just like am too terrified of getting a girl pregnant. So it's like if I don't trust you. Wear a condom, dipshit. Even, dude, I will have sex with a girl. I'll pull out and wear a condom and I'll still sit there afterwards being like, what if I got her pregnant? And what if you did? What's wrong with the little baby coming on the way? You see, you don't relate to this problem. Yes, I do. You can't get pregnant. Yes, I can. I'm bisexual now. I've converted. Really? Yeah, because I survived conversion therapy. You didn't go to conversion therapy. Shh, I did go to conversion therapy. Oh, is that what you tell your parents when you're here? Yes. Or do you consider the little Shh. jelly bean in the womb before it pops out a child? No. Period. My worry is that I get somebody pregnant who is anti-abortion. And then my life is just You're pro-abortion? Yeah. Oh my gosh, our hero. <laughs> wow. I mean, as long as it means- That's a green flag, Derek. Is it actually? Yes. Like they would slurp your dick off right now for saying that. I don't care if you've had 12 abortions. As long as you abort, but mine you goes to therapy. Ooh. Uh, yeah, boys. Bitch, I go to therapy. Do I have a bigger one? I don't think going to therapy is necessarily a red flag. I think it's a good thing. What I find is a red flag is like, I'm on a hinge and in someone's thing, it's like green flags I look for. A dude who goes to therapy, it's like, shut the fuck up. No, it's true though, because how else are you gonna develop the language to gaslight someone without going to therapy? Like navigating your capacity, like buzzwords like that really have... Girl, I know they're playing the game. They're kids, it's okay, they're just children. We're filming the little game. See, that's why we need therapy, because I'm trying to regulate my emotions right now. Let's go next one. Having kids. I would say I'm neut neutral. You can't be neutral. Okay, try it. Fine. I think having children today in this age is stupid because we're running out of diapers. Bitch, Nutella is seven dollars. Why are people bringing children into this world and the economy is suffering? The recession is so bad right now. They're keeping a child into here. How do they pay for school? And they're never gonna serve more than me, so leave them behind. Like, let's focus on ourselves. Let's all go to Hawaii, clean that shit up because everyone's mad about it, and then live happily ever after. Red flag or green flag? They'll sleep with you on the first date. Oh. That's a green flag. Yes. I feel like that's a, that's not, that's a green flag. Come on, wait, what are we waiting for? Red flag, when someone is so adamant about not having sex on the first date. Like, fuck you. Some of us have trauma, dude. I get it, but it also is just like, I'm not gonna try to have sex with you on the first date, but like, if we're like talking about meeting up and they say, oh, by the way, I'm not gonna sleep with you. I'm like, fuck off. Who says that? That's the weirdest Girl, thing. Women say. say that all the time. Okay, well, gay men aren't like that. We just be like, well, what's next? That's because like, y you guys will like open up, like dick suck and then dinner. Wow. You know a bit too much. <laughs> Green flag or red flag has a lot of friends of the opposite sex. Oh, hey, that's fucked up for you to say. Opposite sex, mama. What about opposite enemies? identification? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, that's a green flag? Yeah. Why would it be a red flag? If I'm going out with someone who like exclusively has friends that are men, that's kind of a red flag. Oh, you really are misogynist. I think it's just interesting because everybody, you're intimidated. No, everybody knows like the pick me girl. It's like, I just get along with guys way better. It's like, shut up. And I support pick -me's. I support women's wrong. Oh, you, you support pick -me's? Really? I had to scoot the camera back to fit your fucking bow in the frame. That's not pick -me behavior, wow. bitch. This is eleganza, motherfucker. <laughs> so you would date... Well, it's different for you, though. You would date... Why a... is it different for me? I think we're exactly the same. Shh. I think we're exact. I think we're exact. I think we're exactly the same. You are dating a guy with a lot of friends that are women. They're not your competition at all. No, why would they be? I'm not threatened by a... Exactly. Oh, that's... Okay, never mind. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> it clicked. <laughs> I was like, oh. Like if I was friends with your girlfriend, would you be jealous? 
No. Why? The idea of you being within five inches of a vagina is like... I've been that close before. It's like, it's like Hitler going to a bar mitzvah. Like, that's not happening. No, it's just the this, this in the back is kind of fucking with the lighting. Okay, just get a ring light. Maybe, maybe if you were on time. I what? Don't blame that on me. You didn't give us that time. I, so, oh, the lighting is so bad. I'm literally gonna kill myself. Oh, fuck. There's a line of my motherfucker there. Maybe we could. Don't tell me we gotta move, bitch. Okay, you know what confuses me? Shh. The fact that you don't know how to whisper, that fuck confuses me. You said you wanted to talk about us being by black indigenous people of color. So, oh, you see, you already know what it means, asshole. BIPOC. Okay. I told you that. How, how do I win? I see. If, if you. I told you what BIPOC meant. You didn't know. That's my issue because men like you are not up to date for 2023, which is why men like you say dumb things and then are all just like, I do it, bro, I do it. Boom, 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 boom. You know how vegans are like, be vegan, be vegan. So nobody wants to be vegan. Okay. LGBTQ, I feel like they just try to push it so hard onto everybody that we don't ever learn. Because it's like, it's like when you are like, what's BIPOC? And I'm like, I don't know. You're like, you don't know what it is. I'm like, First of all, I'm not representative of all gay people. This is like if people hate me for being gay because they're just like, if all gay people are like him, you, boo. Uh, uh. And even then, we're not pushing anything on you. I, did, I didn't learn anything about being gay until I grew up and watched porn. You learned about being straight from a young age. I knew nothing. People are mad about drag shows these days. Okay, let's talk about some real stuff for a second. That was so real. Bro. When did you decide to be gay? Decide? Being gay was not a decision, baby. I was born this way, as Lady Gaga would say. When did you decide to be a queer baiter? <laughs> Two years ago? During the pandemic? When you knew you could capitalize off of being a vulture? Because <clears throat> if I wore what you wore, they wouldn't eat me up like that. See, an ally would be like, I publicly apologize. I've learned to right my wrongs. What, what, what do you want me to say? Tell me. Sorry. Jeez. Sorry? An apology? For, for what? To the LGBTQ community. I'm sorry to the LGBTQ community. You're welcome, guys. I mean, folks. Okay, can I ask you one thing? Yes. There was a guy in my high school who was not out, but everybody knew he was gay from the way that he talked. See, everyone always knows we're gay before we even know. Like, why do you get to choose that we're gay? So what's, what's the voice thing? Derek, you have the voice too. You sound like me. What do you mean? I, sound... I have a deeper voice than you. Your cadence. I'm not saying it's bad. What's cadence? Cadence is like the way that you talk. You think I have a gay accent? I'm gonna give you an item and I want you to tell me how gay that item is. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I'm gay. Starbucks? This is the brown oat shaken espresso from Starbucks. This Shh. is so gay. If a straight man goes to Starbucks, he is not straight. Like Tim Hortons is right there, y'all. Go get a double double. Be a construction worker. One to 10. How gay is going to Starbucks? Going to Starbucks is like a seven and a half out of 10 of being gay. Cause I think even saying the words, I would like a brown oat shaken iced espresso. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel a little bit gay. Like would you just say medium or do you say grande? You know what I do? I go to Tim Hortons and accidentally ask for grande. Derek Gerard. I hate to break it to you, honey. How gay is this? A beach bag? A tote bag. Oh, tote bags are not gay. They're bisexual coded. A lot of people are saying, stop. If you're an adult, you shouldn't be wearing a backpack. I wore a backpack today, bro. I'm 25. You keep giving examples trying to help my points, but it's you're not helping. Who am I helping? The economy? <laughs> You're definitely not helping the economy. This is why I don't use tote bags. Because like the second I do this... It hurts one shoulder. No, I'm gay. Yeah, look how you're holding it. Look at the, this action. Like, come on. That's hella gay, dude. But even like, also like... Okay, so I could hold it. But like, what am I gonna... Like, hold it like that? I feel like you should just hold it like a backpack like this. To put the two straps. Then I'll put on a... I'll put on a backpack. Okay, don't throw it on the ground. This is a public library. Be respectful. Hi. My ex-boyfriend um, of the last three years wants to be friends, but I don't really want to be friends with them. I wanted us to get back together. How do I approach that situation? Never go back to a man. Always change direction. Pivot. Being a lesbian exists. So your, your advice to this girl is to start having me sleeping with women? Yes, just try. Bucky. What would you 
you say, asshole? He just doesn't like you. I'm sorry. And also, never stay friends with your exes. It's never worth it. But like, your ex knows so much about you. And so do your fans. If you post on TikTok, just vent online and you will find a new audience that cares about you more deeply than a man because men have, have no, your, men your have audience doesn't care about you at all. Men have no emotional intelligence. Men have no emotional intelligence. Yeah. You're a man. Myself included, myself included. Have you ever been in love? Yes. With someone who actually knows who you are. Hi, so my question is, what is your advice on dating when you don't trust anyone because your previous relationship was toxic as fuck? Other than therapy. I'm like, what do you classify as toxic? Because we're all toxic. And two, women's questions being about men and dating, it's so dumb. Where are the interesting motherfuckers? But my advice would be, just people are looking for yourself. people are looking for advice. They're not looking for you to say you're boring. And having trust issues is so 2016. I'm the worst person to give advice for this because I don't trust anybody. I'm sorry, I don't know how to give you advice. Maybe you, maybe me and you should date. What if they're like 17, Derek? Maybe me and you shouldn't date. How do you support artists or celebrities that are getting canceled for being problematic? Asking as a barb. I would say. Still support your favorite artist, Logan Paul, canceled. Film his dead body. He's still getting married. Even Nicki Minaj, she's dating a crazy cuckoo man, but she's still relevant. Her songs are still bangers. Michael Jackson. He's dead, bitch. Why do we care about him? He's canceled from the grave. Who canceled his dead man? Nobody. They canceled him after he died. Okay, well, I just feel like unless someone did something really fucked up, people are able to grow and change. Accountability. Do you, do you actually think that, though? What did he, what did he even do? Just die? Michael Jackson? Yeah, what do you do? He died on my birthday, actually. Okay, what if I get canceled? You already have been. Nothing happened. Okay, but it's different if you get- You got on The Amazing Race even though you were canceled. There's degrees to it. Like, for example, Lizzo, yeah, she fucked up a little, little bit here and there, but she's also a fat black woman. People are gonna hate her because of that. They don't really care what she did. Am I correct? Correct, thank you. People didn't cancel Lizzo because she's fat and black. Derek, you don't listen to what I'm saying. See, people love to misinterpret what a gay man says. If a white, skinny, pretty girl did what she did, they would not get as mad as they were to Lizzo. They're gonna scrutinize her easier because she's a fat black woman who they already wanted to hate. And because she's the only one in mainstream media, they want a reason to hate her, to demote her because people don't wanna see someone that looks like her in the spotlight. No one really cares about what men do, men that are straight too, because look at your ass, misogynist got dragged and you still have a platform, you have a YouTube channel. You got to meet Benjamin Kalinske. No, you're 100% right. <laughs> is this camera still on? Yeah, bro. Okay. It says it shows your face. Still, is that on? As long as the screen is on. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, who did that? Who did that? That was so hetero of me. I'm so sorry. <laughs>